Hello, my dear friends. My name is Luba, and uh, first of all, I want to tell you thank you for your subscriptions, likes, and comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, today, I want to show you how to crochet this cute teddy bear. I will show you from this space. I really love it and uh, I've already crocheted uh, two of them. One, the first is this blue color and the second is this gray color. It's like a real teddy bear. So I like them both. And uh, today I'm going to crochet it with this purple or lavender color. I will use um, Wallens Bunny ba Baby yarn, color number 100 15. Uh, for the toy, we need to use plush yarn. And I will use the hook number 4.5 millimeters. And for patches, I will use uh, this cotton and acrylic yarn, yarn and jeans, number 89. And the hook number 2. Years. You may use any yarn, what you like. You also need black colored eyes of 12 millimeters with fasten, security fasten and uh, fiber fill to fill our toy. I think these bears may be of different colors and definitely will be beautiful. So you also need a uh, sewing needle, scissors, sewing threads of the same color to stitch our head and ears. Uh, a marker to identify the beginning of the round lighter to fix our eyes and uh, a bit of black colored uh, cotton or acrylic yarn to make some stitches so we can start to crochet our toy for your convenience I will write every round here on the top of the screen and make uh, time codes uh, in description under the video. Let's start with legs. We need to walk a chain of six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Skip the first stitch and into the second stitch from the hook we walk one increase. Increase is um, two single crochet into the one stitch. Then we walk three single crochet and four single crochet into the last stitch. Three and four. On the other side, we walk three single crochet. And finish the round with one increase into the last stitch. 
Okay. Now we need to use marker and walk the second round, which is sound as two increases. one increase and two increase three single crochet one two and three four increases one two three and four three single crochet and finish the round with two increases one and the second okay it's done the third round is one increase and four single crochet repeat twice one increase and four single crochet one increase and four single crochet two increases one and two and four single crochet and one increase repeat twice two three four increase one two three four and increase At the end of this round, we should to have 28 single crochet. And now, the 5th, the 6th and the 7th round, we need to walk just 28 single crochet without changing. So make it by yourself and then be back to meet me here. It was the seventh round and now we need to fold our foot along this line and we need to get the center. So as you see we need to make one more single crochet. And from this moment, we start to make decreases to form our foot, the foot of the bear. The eighth round is seven single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One decrease. and the combination of one single crochet and one decrease repeat for four times one single crochet the second decrease the third decrease and the fourth and finish the round with seven single crochet five six and seven the next round is at the end of this round we should have 23 single crochet in a round 
And the next one is sing six single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, six decreases. One, two, three, four, five. Six and five single crochet. The total account of stitches should be seventeen. And now we need to to work seven rounds of seventeen single crochet. I walk the first round with you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen and 17. Now we need to fill our leg with fiber. This way. And to crochet six more rounds of 17 single crochet. Walk it by yourself. I fill the leg with fiber till the 14th row. Don't fill this part. In the seventh round, we need to crochet only 16 single crochet. And after that, to close our leg with eight single crochet. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, and finish it. It is the left leg of the bear, and I want to pay your attention that our bear is club foot and we need to close our leg in different ways. In this leg, the last round is 16 single crochet. But in this leg, the last round is 17 single crochet. And we need to walk some more. Mm, three or four additional single crochet. Now I like this. They are going to be similar. I walk four additional single crochet 
and now I want to close our leg. You need to take front loops and back loops from the both sides. Front part of the leg and back part of the leg. Five. Six. Seven and eight. Let's look. Yeah, I think it's okay for additional single crochet is enough. So, following these instruction, instructions and to walk the second leg by yourself. The next part is arm. Start with chain of 4 stitches. One, two, three, and 4. Skip the first loop and walk into the second stitch, one increase. To the next stitch, one single crochet and to the last stitch, three single crochet. One single crochet, uh, not one. Two single crochet on the other side of chain stitch. We finished the first round. The second round is one increase and one single crochet repeat for four times. One increase and one single crochet. One increase and a single crochet. The third one and the fourth one. The total count of stitches should be twelve. And the next, for the fourth round, we walk two single crochet and one increase. Repeat four times. Two single crochet followed by one increase. And three more times. Two single crochet. And one increase. Finish. The total count of stitches should be 16. And we need to walk two more rounds. More crochet, just 16 single crochet in the round. Walk by yourself, two rounds of 16 crochet, single crochet. In the next round we will make a finger, use a puff stitch crochet. Uh, we will walk one single crochet and a one puff stitch crochet 
of five double crochet yarn over pull up a loop and walk a half of double crochet then yarn over and walk a half of single crochet double crochet and repeat it for five times four and five now we have six loops on the hook and we finish our puff stitch crochet and walk a single crochet into the next stitch and finish our arm with 13 more single crochet At the end of this round we still have 16 stitches in the round and now the eighth round we walk one decrease three single crochet one decrease four single crochet one decrease and three single crochet the total count of stitches should be 13 we need to fill a bit our arm don't forget that it should be flat and continue crocheting with th 13 single crochet in each round the total number of rounds should be seven three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen and to walk six more rounds of thirteen single crochet by yourself I finished the 15, 15th round and uh, if we fold in half our arm we see that we need to crochet three more in single crochet to close our arm so we walk three additional single crochet and now close the both parts of our arm with the help of six single crochet three five and six snip the thread and finished follow the same instructions 
and crochet the second arm now we will crochet a tail we will start with chain stitch of two stitches one and two skip the first stitch and into the second stitch we need to walk eight single crochet four five six seven and eight then the next round is eight increases just walk two single crochet in each stitch of previous round second third fourth and four more and the last one you may use marker to identify the beginning of the round and the next one is three single crochet and one in grease repeat it for four times one increase three single crochet it's followed by one increase three single crochet and increase three single crochet and increase done and the next fourth round is just 20 single crochet um, two three if I forget to tell you the total count of stitches, you can see it here in written form. And uh, the last, the fifth round is one single crochet and one decrease. Repeat it for seven times. One single crochet and one decrease. Decrease. It was the last round and now we snip the yarn, make one slip stitch and a loop finished. You may left um, this thread a bit longer to stitch the tail uh, to our bear, but I will use a sewing thread. and uh, fill the tail with fiber not very tight but a little bit
Now we will crochet the body of the bear. <laughs> Sorry. And we start it with a chain stitch of two stitches and walk eight single crochet into the second stitch from the hook four five six seven and eight The second round eight increases four five. Eight. Place the marker and the third round is one single crochet and one increase. Repeat eight times. One single crochet into one increase. One single crochet followed by one increase eight times. It's done. And uh, the next round. At the end of this round it should be 24 single crochet. And the next round is 2 single crochet and 1 increase. Repeat 8 times. Two single crochet and one repeat increase and walk seven times more. It should be 32 stitches at the end of this round and the next, the fifth round is three single crochet and one increase repeat eight times. One, two, three and increase and seven more times. At the end of this round it should be 40 single crochet and the next one is seven single crochet and one increase. Repeat for five times. Three, four, five, Six, seven, and one increase, and four more times. Now we have forty five single crochet in a round, and the next round, the seventh, is eight single crochet and one increase. Repeat for five times. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, and one increase, and walk it for four times. The total account of stitches is uh, fifty, and in this round we will tie our legs into the body and uh, make increases at the same time. 
let's start take our leg left leg of bear it is important to not uh, to mix them up and uh, start to crochet I try to get uh, this last loop together with the first stitch like this and walk for single crochet together with the leg two three and four then we make an increase and continue with three single crochet two and three make a knot and walk one more single crochet to the next loop then we walk one increase and continue with the following combination five single crochet and one increase repeat for three times two three four five single crochet and one decrease increase sorry one two three four five and increase and the last one, two, three, four, five, and increase. The next is one single crochet and take the right leg of the bear. Walk three single crochet with the leg one two and three one increase and four single crochet two three and four continue with three single crochet one increase Five single crochet five one increase and three single crochet it's done and at the end of this uh, round the total account of stitches should be 58 and now we need to walk six rounds crocheting 58 single crochet without changing walk it by yourself only 
6 rounds without changing. I have finished these uh, 6 rounds and the next one is the 15th. And we walk 12 single crochet and 1 decrease, 13 single crochet and 1 decrease and repeat this combination twice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1 decrease. 13 single crochet 3 4 5 and 13 and 1 decrease and repeat it one more time at the end of this round it should be 30 sorry 54 single crochet and the next 16th round we walk just 54 single crochet without changes by yourself i have finished and the next round we will walk Seven single crochet and one decrease. Repeat it for six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one decrease. And five more times the same combination. At the end of this round it should be 48 stitches and the next round we need to crochet just 48 stitches, a single crochet without changes. It was the 18th round and in the next round we walk 6 single crochet and 1 decrease. Repeat it for 6 times. Three, Four, five, six single crochet and one decrease and five more times with the same combination at the end of this round it should be 42 stitches and the next round is just 42 single crochet without changing in the next round we walk 5 single crochet and 1, one decrease. Repeat it for 6 times. 4, 5 and 1 decrease. And 5 more times. It should be 36 stitches in a round. And the next round we walk just 36 single crochet without changing. The next round, the 23rd, is uh, 4 single crochet and 1 decrease. Repeat it for 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4 single crochet and a one decrease repeat this combination till the end and then fill the half of body with fiber fill in the next round we will tie hands into the body this round we will crochet together with arms I need to crochet 
three single crochet until to tie the hand and you look at your toy hands should be exactly in the sides of the toy so I work three single crochet two and three take the arm uh, to uh, finger should look forward and crochet six single crochet with the hand make a knot and finish the crochet and five more two three four five and six try to take this last loop and six now we continue with nine single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine take the other hand the finger looks at us and connect it with the body three four five and six make a knot and finish the round with six single crochet one two three four five and six place the marker here and the next round is three single crochet and one decrease repeat it for six times one two three single crochet and one decrease one two three single crochet and one decrease and four more times At the end of this round it should be 24 stitches and the last 26 round is four single crochet and one decrease repeat for four times two three 
four and decrease one two three four and decrease one decrease and one two three four and a decrease walk sleep stitch and snip the thread We have finished our body. Now we need to fill it with fiber and go on to head. <laughs> 